What's up Fit Body Nation? So today it's Tuesday, so I really feel like we need to hit some legs today. So that's what we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna be following a Tabata style, which is 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. You can do that between four to eight intervals and that's per exercise. So the first one will look something like this. It's, I think a split lunge or a squat or something like that. So what we'll do is 20 seconds of that exercise. We'll stop for 10 seconds. 20 seconds of the same exercise, stop for 10 seconds, 20 seconds, and we're gonna do it four times. The second group of different exercises, still a Tabata style, will be 30 seconds of work. All right, let's get this thing going. Now, we're gonna start with our three minute warm up. We'll take one minute to rest after the three minute warm up. And you know the warm up, low key, not gonna be hard by any means. Now I apologize, this is the worst time of the day to film any type of video outside. Sun's directly overhead, we got shadows being casted all around. So, I apologize for that, but I'm super crunched on time today. So, let's start our warm up. And I believe the timer should beep at us today, so that'll help us keep on point with the pretty fast paced workout. So let's start, let's just run in place, just a nice jog, just to get loosened up here. There we go, good. So we'll spend 30 seconds or so on this, not too long. Sunglasses got a bug spot or something on them. Good. All right, so with the warm up now, I want you to start bringing your knees a little bit higher, okay? We're still just cruising along, nothing too crazy. I hate it when you get something on your sunglasses and you just can't get that spot off. It may be scratched as much as Milo drops these things. All right, now let's really crank you into it. So get the knees up on this, let's get that heart rate going. Make sure your shoes are tied tight, I hope mine are. They have a tendency to come untied once we get moving on this, but that's all right. Now, I want you to take it into a side lunge. Now I'm gonna be fast on this, but I do want you to get nice and low, really stretch it out. I got a little few pops and clicks going on. So we can always get loosened up, here we go. Now, as you start to loosen up, so the first few reps that you get, after that, you can start speeding up a little bit more, not much. Keeping the weight on the heel. Good, all right, keep moving. There we go, perfect. Now, let's take it into jumping jacks. That way we get your heart rate up a little bit. Good, excellent. So this one today, we're going back to our 30 minute style of workouts. That's what we typically like to do. I know yesterday was an extremely short one, so if it was your first time doing the workout, that is not our normal. We'll usually do 25 to 30 minutes, all right? Now, let's keep it up on this. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. From this, we're gonna go into some arm circles. Even though we're not focused on upper body today, I wanna make sure that we're fully loosened up from head to toe, because we've been doing some pretty tough workouts here lately. So forward arm circles, palms up. Now let's reverse it, back, good. That's it, you got it, come on. Excellent. All right, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Let's go ahead and let's take it into some mountain climbers. So make sure you got a yoga mat or some carpet to do these on, there you go. I guess you can do it on cement or the floor, doesn't really matter. All right, so you don't have to go too fast on the mountain climbers, not yet. Just switching left, right, left, right, left, right. Perfect, there you go. Keep moving on this. We've got 24 seconds left. Our last few seconds will end with squat. Okay, about five more seconds. And up to your feet. So let's take it into squats. Now for the squats, go slow. It's only a few seconds left, about nine. Good, weight on your heels. And we're gonna go ahead, and we're gonna stop right there. So make sure you got some water. Even though we're not gonna be taking a lot of rest or breaks, Make sure you got some water close. That way you can grab it, chug it down, and keep on moving. If you get to a point with the workout where it's going too fast, pause the workout, catch up, catch your breath, whatever you need to do. All right, try to pace me today as much as you can. We are gonna be doing some explosive exercises. That means high impact, which is usually some sort of jumping when you hear that term used. So if you have bad knees, joints, or you're just not there physically yet, Instead of doing the jumping movement with it, the high impact, you can do the regular version. So if it's a squat jump, just do a squat. All right, so we're gonna be starting in about 20 seconds. 
The first exercise we're gonna do our full four intervals on is a squat, split lunge, squat. You'll see what I'm talking about when we start this. So we're gonna start it in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so start, split lunge position, jump back up into a squat, squat jump into a lunge position. I'll do it from the side so you can see. So squat jump, reverse lunge or split lunge, squat jump. Good. We're gonna do 20 seconds on this, rest for 10 seconds, 20 seconds, rest for 10. All right, relax, 10 seconds. So we'll be starting back, same exercise. You don't have to think about anything else, just this one in three, two, one. So I like to start in the squat jump position and then land in the lunge position. Perfect. Take it much slower if you need to. There we go. Good. Eight seconds left. Total of four intervals. This will be our second one. Halfway and relax. 10 seconds. It's so that 20 seconds just right there enough to really burn. Whew. In three, two, one, here we go. So squat, split lunge, squat, split lunge. Squat, split, squat. Here we go. Perfect. That's it, you're doing good. Six more seconds. Two, one, relax. Okay, we got one more on that. One more, definitely breathing hard. All right, in three, two, one. Here we go, so squat jump, split lunge or reverse lunge. Squat jump, there you go. Slow it down, separate it. Whatever you need to do to get through. Be consistent, not perfect, consistent. Good, there we go. And relax, we got 30 seconds. The next one is an in and out squat jump. So this one, we'll start with our feet together, we'll jump up, we'll land with our feet wide. Notice in and out, okay? Somebody's calling me. Quit calling me. <sighs> All right, we should hear the beep though. Even if somebody's trying to call, let's decline it. All right, so three, two, one. So, I'm going my feet wide, squat jump, feet together, feet wide, feet together, feet wide. Perfect, now you can move forward and back while doing this. I actually prefer that a whole lot. For me, it takes my mind off of the pain that's in my quads. And relax, 10 seconds. One down, three more to go on that one. Perfect, in four, three, two, here we go. So wide, there we go, together. Wide, together, wide, together. You can get faster with this, especially if you're not jumping very high like me. Go for speed. Build that endurance up. There we go, five seconds. You can do it. Two, one, relax, 10 seconds. Perfect. All right, that's two down, or three down. Here we go. Something like that, maybe two, this is three. I don't remember, who cares, let's go. When it beeps and says you're done, we'll know. Good, perfect. Keep the squats nice and low, don't shorten them. There you go, even if you slow down, don't shorten them. Two, one, relax, okay, that's three. This will be four. Whew, and four, three, two, here we go. Right when that pain is starting to kick in. Are you feeling the burn yet? I am, like freaking crazy. Good. That slower day yesterday may not have been a good idea. Definitely can tell I'm gonna be sore. Five seconds. Come on. Two, one, and relax. All right, let's see. Now, split lunges again, but we're doing oblique, not really a twist with it, I'll show you. Okay, it's more of an oblique stretch on both sides. All right, rest them up. They're probably tight as can be. Mine are, it's that lactic acid pumping in there. It's a good thing. It means you're doing what you need to. Okay, so with the split lunge, we're gonna jump right here, hand to the right, hand back to the left. 
Switch, hand to the right, hand to the left. Switch, hand to the right, hand to the left. Keep it up. Good. Back to the left. Switching those feet to the right, back to the left. And relax, 10 seconds. That's what it is. You can go faster, you can go slower, but whatever you do, keep those hands up. Three, two, one, here we go. So stretch over the right, back over the left. This will help loosen you up. Also makes you work on your balance, which strengthens your abs and your back. So basically your core overall. Come on. Perfect. Three seconds. And relax. Good. Zero. Get your breath. Chill a minute. That's it. Five seconds. Two. One. Here we go. Stretch it. Both sides. Don't skip out on that. The wind is trying to blow my yoga mat over. Good. Come on. Keep moving. Eight seconds. Almost there on this one. We've only got one more interval next. Good, relax. All right, yoga mat, no leaving. Stay down. Okay, five seconds. Last set on this one. Okay, here we go. So down, switch, left, right. Down, left, right. Good. Perfect. Nice and low with this. We work the quads. Work the thighs, work the glutes, the butt. There we go. And one, zero, relax, 30 seconds. Okay, now this one is gonna be a speed squat with a knee raise. <clears throat> I'll show you. But it's gonna be a very fast paced squat, basically. And when you stand up, you're gonna bring one knee up, okay? Kind of crunching it up. Not touching it to an elbow or anything like that. Just bringing the knee up. Good, it's gonna add a little more depth to the workout and to the exercise and the results. All right, here we go. So squat, knee up, right back down, knee up. So notice, I'm not kicking my leg out or anything. I'm just doing a high knee raise. Perfect, this adds to the cardio of it and it also, again, works your abs. I like getting the ab workout in without specifically doing an ab workout. I think you always get best results that way. And relax, good. Plus. When you only do abs, you don't burn a lot of calories. So there are benefits to it, but not a whole lot. But we still do ab workouts on here. All right, here we go. Squat, knees up, good. We just don't do them all the time. Perfect. That's it, you got this, come on. Good, 11 seconds. Almost there on this one. Perfect. This will be our second set on these. I've noticed my own squats are slowing down, so I'm gonna intentionally tell myself to move faster on the next one. That's two down, two left. Now the cool thing about this exercise is you can use it to catch your breath. Because it's intense, but it's not as intense. All right, so squat, knee up. I'm gonna move faster. If you notice yourself slowing down as well, pick your pace up. Be intentional about it. It may hurt, it may burn, may not at all. So pick your pace up. Seven seconds, don't shorten yourself. Good. Three, two, one, relax. Okay, doing good, got another one on that one. Whoo, you're gonna love the next exercise when we get to it. I'm not even gonna spool the fun for you. Two, one, here we go. So squat, knee up, squat, knee up. <clears throat> squat, knee up, squat, knee up. Bring it up. I'm alternating arms, it doesn't really matter what you do with your arms on this. They don't serve a purpose really for this besides keep your balance. So, do what you want with them. Keep them up, keep them overhead. Two, one, relax. All right, 30 seconds, that means we're in between. So now, what we're gonna be doing is a burpee. Now I wrote burpee blast down. So that means do as many as you can, as fast as you can. We're doing a full burpee. So you'll go down, feet out, push up, back up, and then jump or stand up, but preferably jump. All right, do this on a table if you need to modify it. Or a chair, we're starting in three, two, one, here we go. So down, push up, back up, jump, 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 keep moving, just like this. Doesn't matter if you're matching my pace, your own pace, or maybe even slower than your own pace. Keep working, three seconds, and relax. 10 seconds, my friend, 10 seconds. 
First run down, three more. Woo, I hear motorcycles. And here we go. Down, push up, back up. Good. Try to keep pace with whatever you did in the first round. Don't slow down, come on. You can do this. Woo. It's simply windy today, but it feels good out here. <sighs> For almost being November 1st, it feels really good. Relax. Two down, two more. I know you're telling yourself it's painful, but you can do it. I'm breathing hard, that's okay. Here we go. Back up. Good. Back down. Get them done on this. Get them done, get them done. Perfect. There you go. Keep moving, keep working. Four seconds. Excellent. And relax, 10 seconds. One more. One more on the burpees. Oh man. Whoo! Breathe, Ben, breathe. And you ready? Here we go. Last round on this burpee one. We're not done with our 20 seconds at Tabatas though. Just the burpee. Don't get too hopeful here. Perfect. Last one on burpees. Keep going. Almost through it. You know we can't skip out on burpees. That's the best exercise for you. Good. Okay. The last one on the 20 seconds at Tabatas is going to be what I call the tornado. This is going to be, let's do three, no, let's do four. So you're going to do four jumping jacks. You're going to turn a quarter of a degree. And you're going to do four butt kicks, which is one, two, three, four. That's how I count them. You can do left, right, left, right as two. Um, and then, yeah, high knees. Sometimes I do four, sometimes I don't. So here we go. One, two, three, four. Now butt kicks. One, two, three, four. High knees. One, two, three, four. But you ultimately want to spin. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, just like that, so 10 seconds. We got three, three more of those coming up. So I'm gonna do it this way so I can still be talking in the microphone. Here we go, one, two, three, four, butt kicks, one, two, three, four, high knees, one, two, three, four. Here we go, one, with the jacks, two, three, four, butt kicks, one, two, three, four. Here we go, one, two, three, four. I'm mixing and matching, two, three, Four, relax. <laughs> I forgot the high knees on that, so. This one's the fun to do just on your own. You can add any exercise you want, but here we go. One, two, three, four. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Here we go. High knees. One, two, three, four. Back to jacks. One, two, three, four. Butt kicks. One, two, three, four. High knees. One, two, three, four. Back to jacks. One, and relax, 10 seconds. Doing good, I think we got one more. On this one, maybe two. Yeah, one more. Sounds right, let's go faster, here we go. And one, two, three, four, spin, high knees, or one, two, just ignore me, three, four, high knees, one, two, three, four, back to jacks, one, two, three, four, butt kicks, one, two, three, four, high knees, one, two, three, four, back to jacks, one, two, three, four, butt kicks, one, and relax, 30 seconds. Okay, let's do, yeah. So we've actually got a minute, not just our 30 seconds, because now we're in between our two Tabatas. We just finished up our 20 second ones. Now we're doing 30 second ones. Same 10 seconds to rest in between, and same four intervals per exercise. All right, so here's what we're doing. We're doing a pulse split lunge, okay? It's gonna suck, we're gonna do 15 seconds on each leg. Ignore this thing beeping, I've got it set up like in 10 second rest intervals for some reason. So it's gonna beep a lot. After we do that, we're gonna do a slow squat. Then we're doing quarter squats, which will be almost a squat hold and doing a very small squat. So it almost looks like you're twerking, but not quite, all right? Different purpose altogether. And then we're doing a T-stand on the right leg and a T-stand on the left leg. And I'll show you all this when we get there but so you know what exercises is what. Okay, well I think we have like 20 more seconds to rest, maybe 30, 20 I believe, so enjoy it. Get some water for the final few. The pull split lunges are gonna be difficult. 
They're good for you. You're definitely going to be sore from them tomorrow, but they're tough. So enjoy this rest is what I'm trying to say. Okay. This thing just keeps going on. We may just have to skip through the rest. I don't know how many of these are in there. I programmed it, but I still don't know what I'm doing with this thing. Okay, so we're going to skip to the last few seconds and start there. Okay. Okay, cool. So literally in about 10 seconds, we're going to be starting with our squat split line. So your final few seconds, get some water, tie your shoes. I'm making sure mine are tight for this last one. These exercises won't be as fast paced, but you're going to get a lot of toning out of them. So you're going to get that lactic acid burn a lot faster. So these are just as difficult, just a different type of difficult. Seven seconds. Pull split lunge. So this one in three, two, one. Drop it into a split lunge and you're pulsing in that down position. So this keeps your muscles flexed and tight the entire time. You never get to relax them. So we're going to do it for 15 seconds on this side and then we're going to switch and do 15 seconds the other side. Now, I want you pulsing with this front leg. Switch. Here we go. Make sure that back leg is pretty far behind you, but make sure this front knee is never in front of the toe. Like, just like you always hear with lunges. It's gonna happen every now and again, but just don't let it happen all the time. Three, two, one, relax, 10 seconds. All right, we're doing the same thing. You can start with whatever leg you want. Just make sure you switch at 15 seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go, so a good pulse. Now, depending how much movement you have in this low position, really depends on how tight your hips are, how tight your muscles and your legs are. So for some of you, this may tell you you need to stretch more or even go get a massage or just take better help, better care of yourself, all right? Good, and switch. I'm not paying attention to the time a whole lot, so pay attention over here to the time because I may go past your 15 seconds and forget to switch. I like to talk. Two, one, relax. All right, two down, two more. Two more on that one, good. All right, in three, two, one, here we go. So dropping it down, boom shakalaka, just like this. All right, foot far out in front, nice and low. Try not to rest your hands on your thighs. When you do that, you'll have a tendency to lean forward, and then you get nothing out of this. And switch. I did it a second too soon, but that's okay. All right, keep moving. Almost there, you got this. We're doing good. Burning, it's burning, it's burning, but it's supposed to be. Two, one, and relax, 10 seconds. Okay, last final interval coming up right here for the first exercise. In three, two, one, split pulse lunge. Here we go. All right, good. Good, 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 good. Keep it down, stay low with it. That's it, perfect. All right, I can't see the time, the sun's reflecting on it. 19 seconds, so. And I'm going to go ahead and switch. I think that's about it. Good. So nice and low, keeping that pulse in there, keeping your form perfect still, even if you're tired. Good. Six seconds. Feel that burn? Three, two, one. Relax. Okay. Whew. So the next one is a slow squat. That means you go down slow. You can come up as fast as you want. But the down part is the most challenging part. So take it slow. Actually, let's do the whole thing. Let's do all of it. Down slow and up slow. We're going to make it really burn. Whoo! Let's do this. See what kind of pace we can keep. 20 seconds. Let's try to do a minimum. Let's try to do two. That means go slow. All right. So these are 30 seconds each. So that means it should take 15 seconds to go down and up. So when I start going up, you go back up with me. If I mistime this, you can yell at me. All right. Back up. Slow. Back down, slow. That's really hard to do. Back up, slow. Slower. Slower. Keep it slow. Two, one. All right, I don't like the two rep ones. So here's what we're going to do. You're going to go down fast, up slow. Down fast, up slow. Don't worry about reps. That was way too slow. Didn't feel anything. So here we go. Down fast, up about my pace. Down fast up about my pace. I think we'll be able to get five. Good, so down fast. See, sometimes you gotta make adjustments to the workouts. You gotta change things up. Just cause that's what's wrote on the paper doesn't mean that's what's gonna be the most effective. So, listen to your body, change it up when you need to. Good, back down, up slow. Feeling that burn? I'm feeling it on this one. 
Oh, that first one, it was crap. And relax, 10 seconds. Okay, we got two more of these, keeping the same thing. Down fast, up slow. In three, two, one, here we go. Perfect. As soon as those legs are locked out, standing straight, drop it back down. Good. That's what I'm talking about. Perfect, 16 seconds. Definitely burning this time. I'm feeling them like crazy. There we go. There's two things I hate doing when it comes to working out, and that is half pikes and squat holds. And these are pretty close to squat holds. Good, relax. For some reason, those two exercises make the lactic acid in my body build up so fast, so painful. And that's why I don't like them. All right. But they're two really effective exercises, so I have to do them. Woo! Here we go. Back down. Come on. I'm definitely feeling it. Doesn't feel good, but it doesn't feel bad. Feels like results. Cool thing is, we've only got two exercises after this. I thought we had three left, but we've only got two left, so that's nothing. Nothing at all. We're going to be hitting our hamstrings next with a little bit of quad work and a lot of core balance. Good. And relax. 30 seconds. Yeah, okay. Actually, I lied. We do have three more. So this one is our quarter squats. So we are actually in the squat hold position doing the small squat, like a three-inch squat. That's why I said it looks like twerking when you do it. It's not, but it looks like it. But don't worry. Nobody's watching you, especially if you're doing this at home on your own. Good. Three, two, one. Here we go. So squat hold position. Get nice and low. Get set there. From the side, this is about how low I am. So you can tell my legs are pretty much parallel. And then I'm doing a very small quarter squat, okay? 17 seconds. These are gonna be really burning by our third round. Actually by the second round, probably. They might be burning in the next two seconds on the first round, who knows? It's starting to burn though. Good, four, three, two, one. Relax, good, 10 seconds, oh yeah, there we go. So shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. We got another one, quarter squats in three, two, one, here we go. All right, so get set in that squat hold position and then start your small quarter squats. Good, all right. We're gonna move through this one, 10 seconds at a time. It's 30 seconds all together. It's not a lot, but when you're suffering, it feels like it takes forever. And then those rests go by super fast, don't they? Good, keep moving though. Five seconds. I'm, I'm definitely feeling it. Two, one. Oh, had to do everything I could not to straighten my legs that time. Shoo. All right, in three, two, <coughs> here we go. Should have brought some water out here. Okay, so I am definitely burning. Holy moly. Okay, stay down. Do as I say, not as I'm doing, all right? So quarter squats once you're set. This when that burn comes in. Again, you don't want to put your hands on your thighs because it takes everything away. But it's so tempting when you're feeling like this, when you're in this type of pain. I know it's tempting, but try not to. Believe me, I just want to straighten my legs out. Two, one, relax, good. All right, I believe this is the last one on this one. Then we're going to our hamstring work. Two, one, all right. See what you can do on this one. That's it. I'm not even going to look at the time. I'm just going to look at you eye to eye right here. Suffer together. Suffer together. Come on. Right here. Now, I know you can see the time, but ignore it. Me and you right here. Come on. Keep pushing. That's it. Almost there. Ah, oh, come on. Ah. All right. Perfect. So rest. 30 seconds. Now we got our hamstring work, which is T-stands. These won't be as bad. We're gonna focus on the right leg first, then the left leg. So yes, it's full, full two minutes on both legs. So you don't have to worry about switching or losing reps because it takes so long to transition. Just start, I'm gonna start on my right leg, but I have a better balance on that leg, so that's why I'm starting on it. Okay, so for this one, you reach forward, and now when you're in this position, the T position, 
it stretches your hamstrings. So down, stand right back up. Down, right back up. I am keeping a slight bend in my knees, you can see. Okay? Your leg does not have to be straight. Good, almost there. There you go, keep it up. Actually, we are gonna alternate because I believe I took one of the exercises and pulled it off of this workout. Yeah, okay, just ignore. So this time, you're gonna switch legs, all right? We I did have it separated, right leg and left leg, but it made the workout too long. Okay, so here we go, opposite leg. Now, for me, this is my weaker balance leg. It's actually a stronger leg, but my balance is definitely not as good on my left leg. Perfect. Probably because it's had more injuries. Because I always rely on it when I mountain bike race. So, Woo! Good. That's it. You got this. Come on. Eight seconds. Keep moving. Almost through it. And relax. Ten seconds. Here we go. Now going back to your starting leg. For me, that's my right leg. Okay. We got this. Two. One. Good. So forward, making your body straight like a T. Keeping a slight bend in the balancing leg. There you go. If you need to, stand against the wall to do this. Whatever it takes, because eventually you get stronger and stronger, and this will be super easy for you. Some of you might be easy now. And if that's the case, you can actually use weights with this. You can hold dumbbells while doing this. Okay, 10 seconds, going back to the opposite leg now. Whoo! And if I remember correct, this will be the last exercise, but don't quote me on that. Because I set the timer up and all that stuff and totally forget. I've done so many workouts. Sometimes they just run together, so. Good. That's it. Don't stop, you got it, keep moving. There we go, there we go, there we go. 10 seconds. Getting that nice T out there, reaching the hands out. Now this one's not fast, so it's not cardio. So you can totally breathe on this. Focus on keeping your abs tight though. Okay, that's it. I thought I'd taken a workout off to shorten it up. It was like 36 minutes or something. Okay, so Fit Body Nation, again, Tuesday. That wraps it up all together for our Tuesday. So. Get some rest, rest up for tomorrow. It's gonna to be Wednesday. This week we're just kind of cruising through because if you're part of the Fit Body Nation, you know we got our 5K coming up this weekend, which is gonna be awesome. And then after that, we're gonna set another goal together that we can achieve in about six more weeks. Okay, so that way we cruise through the winter time looking good and feeling great. All right, I love you guys. Please subscribe to the channel, share the video, and I'll see you back here tomorrow.